Every day, chemical reactions are frequently occurring all around us. Chemical reactions are when a substance changes from one substance to another. When enough energy is applied, molecules break old bonds and form new ones. Here, chemicals react together to form new chemicals. These chemicals develop different compositions and occur every day all around us. Chemical reactions vary in speed. Some reactions occur instantly, for instance fireworks. The explosions in fireworks occur within seconds. Other reactions occur much slower. Take for example rusting of an iron fence. Prehistoric plants and animals are examples of reactions that take thousands of years. Some reactions take thousands of years. The rate of reactions can be measured in two ways. Measure the formation of a product. The formula for rate of reaction is amount of reactant used divided by time. Or the amount of product formed divided by time. Many factors affect the rate of reaction. The factors that influence the rate of reaction include Concentration effects As the concentration is increased, the reaction rate is increased. If there is no contact between substances, then the reaction will be zero. The more molecules that come into contact, then the higher the rate of reaction. Increasing the temperature increases the energy of the particles. This increases the rate of reaction. How does increasing the surface area increase the rate of reaction? Imagine a block. Cutting the block reactant into smaller pieces increases the surface area. The more the surface area increases, the more particles are exposed to the reaction. The graph shows how increasing the temperature, concentration or pieces of solids increases the rate of reaction. Lowering the temperature and concentration reduces the rate of reaction. Reactions are faster at the beginning when the concentration of the reactants are the highest. They slow down towards the end until the line is horizontal. This means the speed has become zero as the reaction has stopped. The amount of a reactant that is used or the amount of a product that is formed can be plotted against time and shown as a graph.